been doing since I got back. Been a bit under the radar in some form or the other. Coming back was hard, really hard. That for me has been the hardest part of the whole trip. The trip around the world was just, you, you, you never knew what was coming, every day was an adventure so you just you just got up and dealt with it, whatever came your way. I put a lot of thought, you know, put three years of planning and many, 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 many years of dreaming into that trip as to what it was going to be like. But to be honest, I put very little into what life was going to be like when I got back. And you know, it sounds a bit of a spoiled brat really. Coming back's been the hardest part. It really has. Once you've once you've fulfilled a dream like that, it's, it's the epitome of everyone's dream, isn't it? To, to to disappear around the world and just live each day. Well, when you come back and you've got to come back to your old way of life, especially me and my job where it's quite strict and you know you've got to have to conform to some fairly strict rules and this is what you must do and this is what you must say well bollocks to that i'm not like that <laughs> i say what i think and i found that very hard coming back and fitting into that you do expand as a person on a trip like that there's no shadow of a doubt it, it certainly does happen it hasn't made me all pink and fluffy don't worry about that it reinstilled my faith in people for sure definitely because i've become quite a what's the word i'd certainly become quite a a, a bitter in a way person i struggled for the first year mentally to adapt to it all it was just such a a head watcher up it was hard uh, i came back i had a heart condition that i didn't know about i developed that on the trip so uh, you know i couldn't just fire straight back into work and get on with it it was it was tough so anyway i've sorted all that out now you kind of just come to terms with right this is life this is what life's going to be now let's just get on with it you know nikki has ever been my rock we got married got married the other month so uh, she's now mrs teapot and uh, yeah everything's going really good Initially I started Moto Hub when I came back, I thought right that's teapot, finished, done, uh, it just never pulled off, you know, I didn't put much time and effort into it, my own fault really, nothing happened with it. I've always done tours around Europe and I thought well, having ridden some of the archetypal best biking roads in the world, I still think here in Europe we have the best. There's none better than northern Spain, you know, the, the mountains and the canyon rides up there. Tight twists, flying around the mountains, some insanely fast corners, some straights. Everything you want is right there in Spain. There's nobody there. The old bill only encourage you to go quicker and it's nothing but fun. It's cheap as chips. So I'm specialising now with chicken strips and doing tours down there. Um, already booked up for May and June. July, August, September next year, there'll be spaces. The website isn't live yet, but it will be soon. Chickenstrips.com. UK. On top of that, I finally finished the book. Where is the book? Let's find a copy of the book. So is that focusing in on that? Yeah, so I finally finished the book. It took me a while, but I got that done. Thank you everybody for buying that. Link is available, it's on Amazon. Check the show description notes below. The DVD is already two years late. I am so sorry. It's part of the reason, really, that I haven't done the DVD yet was because of the issues I was having when I first came back. Teapot One's my baby. That trip was my baby. And the book was hard enough, but by finishing the DVD, it's almost like, that's it, it's done. You know, that part of life is, is over now. And I, I just wasn't ready to let go of it, to be perfectly honest with you. And I just kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. But I'm back on with it now. There's a substantial amount of work, folks. There's nearly four terabytes of footage. A lot of work. That takes a long time. And then you have to go through everything and cut it all down. And it's a lot of work. My aim was to have it ready for this Christmas. The way it looks now, it's going to take a miracle to get it ready for this Christmas. In between work and the DVD, there's very little time for the DVD at the moment. Work is just busy. It's work, 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 work. I am working working on it, I promise you. I've looked at outsourcing it to other people, but it, it just costs way too much. I can't afford to do that. It's my baby. I will get it done. I promise you I will get it done. But anyway, so what's Teapot One going to be about now? I 
I've missed being on camera, you know, I've missed this, I've missed interacting with you lot that are following it and, you know, listening to your feedback. I've missed doing that. So I thought, well, why not just keep doing it? So the plan now is to turn it into a weekly YouTube show. So every Wednesday at 7pm Greenwich Mean Time, UK time, I'll post a video up. That will be anything from product reviews and eventually I would like you guys, you know, to get in touch. I'll come up and meet you in your bit of the country, ride your roads with you. You know, you get to tell me about your kit, your bike, your your tyres, what your dealerships are like, everything. The whole biking scene wherever you're from and hopefully over time we'll build up an, a nice collection of the best parts of biking in the UK and we can advertise that to the rest of the world. Get people here, come and see what we've got here in the UK because we do have great roads here and the biking scene is as strong here as it is anywhere else so let's promote it uh, and we'll have a bit of fun along the way you know it's not all going to be a serious thing by any stretch of your imagination. <laughs> So that's the plan for Teapot One, really. Get involved, please subscribe. Links are down below in the show description and at the end there'll be links as well. So that's just a quick recap of what's been going on and what I'm planning to do for the future. There's another big trip in the pipeline, but that'll be a few years to come yet. Keep me updated with what you think, with what's going on. If you don't like the direction we're going, let me know. Give us some comments down the bottom. Comment on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. It's the only way I'm gonna know. If you see me, come up and speak to me when you see us out and about. Let's go and hit the bikes. Right, question time. Thanks very much to everybody that sent through some questions. Some pretty good ones, <laughs> considering this is the first lot. Whoever sent this one? I like to watch vids whilst on the loo, but there was too long, so I'd finished before you. That was good, that rhymed. Um, quite a few people mentioned that. Not that they watched it on the toilet, that the vid was a bit too long. I tend to waffle, as you're probably finding out. I ride with visor up. Can you recommend a good skin product? Have you seen my face? Sheesh, most people think I'm about 90. I've only just turned 40. Uh, no. Why didn't you say epic or awesome? <laughs> yeah. We'll bear that in mind, let's bring it on. Ah, this must be about visor cat. I like to stimulate myself manually. Would this device clean up afterwards? Uh, wow, you're quite a strange bunch. Um, yeah, I, I won't get back to you on that one. Stop being a miserable Oh, yeah, point taken. I did moan a lot in the, the visor cat one. Drunk vlogging would be entertaining. Yes, maybe one when I'm not on the bike. Maybe we'll give that a bash uh, at some event that we go to. Maybe one of the JDV racing. I'm, I'm part of a race team, JDV racing. So um, there tends to be quite a lot of uh, beer involved in those meets. So um, we'll see. That'll do for now. Uh, keep the questions coming in, the comments. Uh, down below, put the comments in for... Um, YouTube, Facebook, whack them in on the Facebook page. Uh, Twitter, whack them in on um, Twitter, at Teapot1. Uh, same with Instagram, which is Teapot1 Insta. Give it a hashtag, Teapot1, and then I'll be able to find them. All right, cheers, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this week, and keep living your life.